Hello and welcome again to another show of Developing Four Dollars. We're here in beautiful Barrie, as always, in Great Simcoe County. And you can see by the sign back here, we are at the water operations plant in the city of Barrie. Today is actually the grand opening of this facility. The reason why we're here, besides to talk to my good friend Richard Ford, is to discuss infrastructure, is to discuss how water affects developers, how uh, water as a component of the infrastructure process, with, whether it be roads or, or hydro or different utilities, is a major component of the growth for Simcoe County. So with me today, as I mentioned, is Richard Ford, the Managing Director of Infrastructure, Development and Arts and Culture. The list is so long I see, seem to forget. So Richard, please tell me. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself so people can understand why why sure. you're with me and why you're the expert on, on sure. water. Sure, Mark. I've been with the city for 22 years and I started as a project engineer and now as the indicated general manager for uh, basically infrastructure development and culture. Yep. I do have a, a master's. I have a, an engineering degree in water engineering as well as a master's in water uh, engineering as well. So. Wow, so you, so you, so you get thirsty a lot then? Uh, well, certainly know where clean water is available <laughs> and uh, how to access it. So, But as you indicated, today is uh, the grand opening for the new surface water treatment plant. Uh, this plant has been on the horizon for many years, since 1995, when the original Barrie Public Utilities used to look after the water system for Barrie. And back then they identified and, and noted that there was a need for uh, a new source for water. Basically, uh, before the surface water plant came online, we basically drew our water from the aquifer, which is groundwater. Okay. And there is a finite capacity with uh, any given aquifer. And so what that really means in terms of development is that that would limit to how big you could grow as a community. So so, so when you mentioned 1995, you're saying that, um, because I know Barry's been expanding uh, uh, from the development perspective, that you already identified that your water, you would, you would, hit, a, you would hit a limit. So this not being a, a groundwater source, it's a surface water. Can you explain the difference? Like you just sure, were going through yeah. that. Yeah. So basically, uh, we have wells that draw water from the deep aquifer. So a well so would be. J sorry, didn't mean to cut. But but just so that people understand uh, that you have a house in the country where they have to have to have a septic tank, and from a developer standpoint, they got to drill a well and they got to create a septic tank. Water in, water out. Well, so right. So basically, when you're dealing with an urban setting, you have a wastewater treatment plant that deals with the waste side of uh, okay. life, and then you've got a water system of some sort. So. Uh, whether it's groundwater or surface water. Here we have uh, an opportunity where we actually have uh, you know, a secondary source, which is basically surface water. So we draw the water from a deep intake pipe, which is 800 meters out within the bay. Okay. It's uh, 80 feet deep. Draw the water from there into what's called a low lift pump station, which is along the shore. Okay. And then it gets pumped up to this facility here, which basically treats that water. Yep. And then it sends that water into, into the system. And so, the south half of Barrie residents will see uh, the surface water and then the uh, north half of Barrie will still be on the uh, groundwater. Okay, so when you mentioned, okay, so we have two sources of water Correct, coming yeah. into, and, and for, for simplicity's sake, coming into the homes. One is one is the groundwater, which is by like a well, and the other is gonna be surface water, which is... Well, depending where you're at in the city. Depending where you're at. Yeah. So, so I'm assuming then the older homes, which are already are have the existing infrastructure for the groundwater, is that correct? Uh, that's that's a basically the south half of Barrie will be on the new surface water system with, okay. with some some minor exceptions and then the primarily the north and central half of Barrie will be uh, groundwater. Okay and and so now when we mentioned that in 1995 we, we discussed that the water mm -hmm. was, 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 was running dry yeah, if, I can, so if I can use that well, term. Well basically you what you do is when you plan for growth you look at how much water a person uses how much water industry uses and then you you basically forecast what the need will be based on your population growth. Right. So we know that urban, uh, with Barry being identified a, as an urban growth center, our population is planned to go to 210,000 by 2031. And okay. so uh, based on what the aquifer could deliver and, and based on the need to grow to that uh, right. population, before that point in time, we, we in order to even get to the population of say 100, 170,000, we, we had to add additional capacity okay. to the system. And, and so the, the ground, basically the ground uh, aquifers, they're, they're, we were going to max them out. So for, for Barry to right. grow, we needed to have a surface water treatment plant where we could grow up to what the, uh, the uh, Terra government has mandated in terms of our places to well, grow. Well, this, yeah, this, this plant here is going to meet our, our current needs. And okay. then as we plan for the new growth, it will be able to uh, basically uh, address uh, future future needs as so, well. So, so being in the south end, of course, we can now deal with um, the, the land south of us which is um, going to be coming online in three to five years. 
um, this this water treatment plant will service all that development. And I guess from as you you know the show being about developers, mm -hmm. this plant is actually going to set is is the beginning stages of the developments that we're going to see and the growth that we're going to see in Bay. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. We're going to take a, a quick break, and we'll be right back where we're going to discuss more about how water and, of course, infrastructure on a whole, the costs, benefits for developers. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on Developing $4.